Hello everyone. Welcome to Shruti's Pharma World. In this video, we are going to talk about twin shell blender. Here you can see the pictorial representation of twin shell blender. Because of the shape of this blender, it is also known as V-Con blender. The principle involved in twin shell blender or V-Con blender is diffusion phenomena. This Equipment is mainly used to mix granular solids. During mixing, while rotating the blender, the material is continuously splits and then it recombines at the bottom. Inside the vessel, the material falls randomly. Because of the tumbling motion or tumbling action, the material undergo mixing process. So, this is the principle involved in twin shell blender. Now, move on to the construction of twin shell blender. As I already said that, the twin shell blender consists of two hollow cylindrical containers. And these containers are joined at an angle of 75 to 90 degree. Stainless steel and transparent plastic materials are mainly used for the construction of twin shell blender. There are two types of blenders available, small blenders and large blenders. Small blender is having the capacity of 20 kg and the loading capacity is about 20 kg for small blenders. And it rotates about 35 rpm. In the case of larger blender, the loading capacity is about 1 ton and it rotates 15 rpm. The larger blender is having a Speed of rotation is about 15 rpm. The material is loaded through either of the shell hatches. And we can empty the sample through the apex port. So this is the construction part regarding twin shell blender. Let's see how a twin shell blender is working. First of all the materials to be mixed is introduced into the blender through either of the shell hatches. Optimum sample should be loaded into the blender. So that is about 50 to 60 percentage of the total volume of the blender. You can fill the sample. As the blender rotates, the material undergo tumbling motion inside the blender. During mixing, when the V blender is inverted, the material splits into two portions. While rotating the blender, it involves dividing or splitting and recombining process and this process will be occur continuously because of that ordered mixing will be occur. In inside the vessel, the material fall randomly because of that thorough mixing will be occurs. After mixing, we can remove the sample through the apex port. After mixing, we can remove the mixed sample through the apex port. So, this is the working procedure that is involved in twin shell blender. On to the advantages of weak cone blender or twin shell blender. Using this blender, uh, we can mix fragile granules. We are not using any kind of uh, baffles or uh, blades so that attrition will be minimum. Uh, because of this reason, fragile granules are blended using V-Con blenders. We can handle large capacity of samples using V-Con blender. And this equipment is very easy to clean. Loading and unloading is very easy. Because we can introduce the sample through either of the shell hatches. But after mixing, uh, the mixture can be uh, removed through the apex port. So, loading and unloading is easy as compared to other mixers. Maintenance cost is also very less. And it requires shorter time for blending. And this equipment is having high efficiency. And these are the important advantages of v blender. The main disadvantages are it require high headspace for installation. And this equipment is not uh, suitable for blending materials having different size and densities. Type of blenders are not suitable for uh, mixing materials having different size and densities because uh, due to the time of discharge, segregation will be occur. These two are the main disadvantages of V-Cone blender. 
if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe my channel that will motivate me to make more videos like this